I'm Tara. Welcome to the tanning tutorial for hands. I know sometimes tanning your hands can be quite difficult and I've learned some tips and tricks along the way from self tanning on my own. And today I'm going to be using the Small Batch Reserve from Famous Dave's in light medium. I love using this tanner on my hands and feet because it gives such a nice natural glow and it's really easy to apply. So stay tuned for the tutorial. Okay, let's get started with the hand tutorial. I've already exfoliated my hand and I put a light moisturizer on my hand after my shower, but I'm going to go ahead and top that off with a body butter as well, just to create a nice barrier between my skin and the self tanner. And I'm going to use the Famous Dave Small Batch Reserve in light medium today. So I'm going to go ahead and move that body butter around my hand and get in between all the webs of my fingers and also all along the knuckles, just so the, the self tanner isn't absorbed too much in those areas so there's not a dark pigmentation on them because that is one tall tale sign that you've been self tanning and we want you to have a nice flawless tan. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of my Famous Dave's and I'm gonna pump out about half a pump and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the back of my hand and I'll work around my hand from there. So I'm gonna kind of apply that in a circular motion and you can bring up, if you have too much product, bring it up onto your arm because you're gonna tan your arm anyway and you can move it around as you need. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start on the outside and kind of draw my line or make my line where I would want my tan to end naturally and go up on my wrist and just go lightly with you know excess product. And when you're doing your fingers, once you apply it, go ahead and bend your finger and rub it on the knuckles a little bit so that when you bend your knuckles, you don't have white lines from your knuckle wrinkles. And go ahead and do each finger and then you know bend them and reapply. And don't forget your thumb. And then you can draw the line there too where you want your tan to naturally end. And then you wanna go into the, the big web there. Make sure you have tanner there. And as far as your other finger webs, you can go ahead and slide your other hand through there so you're applying that tanner from the back of your hand onto there with the excess product. One tip that I've learned that I always do myself is I use a makeup sponge and you can pick these up at any grocery store. This one just happens to be a diamond shape but they come in all different shapes, mostly they're round and men you can use these too. Um, women use this for foundation or you know just applying any kinds of makeup but I like to use these kind of like the mitt and this just really evens out the product and really gets it into the areas um, and it gives you a more precise application and I just really love this and it's something I discovered on my own and this is how I always tan my hands and then it hel is helpful to you know do the side of your hands so it gives a really natural look to your tan and it just helps evenly disperse the lotion as well. Now I always recommend using a mitt but you know the mitt isn't going to give you that precise of an application like a sponge but you can use it and kind of make a hand like as if you were holding a small ball and use the mitt and kind of just go over your fingers and then that helps with the the white of your knuckles if you bend your knuckles you know so there's not white lines just to get that product in there but you don't want it to be too heavy there so then you can just work that around with the makeup sponge or your hand and just make sure you're working it in and you can feel the lotion start to dry and that is it. I hope you found this tutorial for hands helpful and you're able to achieve the flawless glow you're looking for when using Famous Dave Self Tanner.